Our first um, speaker is Jaffer Trache, Vice President of Partnerships at Aunt Bertha. Jaffer, can you um, tell us how Aunt Bertha can help um, health centers and you know, how working with the clinical works, we can maybe help um, make the process of ref community referrals a little more efficient? Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for the introduction, and I'll, I'll try to keep us on track and on time here. Um, we're so appreciative for ECW for uh, inviting us and allowing us to come today. Um, what uh, was special was that we received the call from ECW saying, hey, um, our health centers can really take advantage of the work that you're doing. Um, can we work on an integration? And we said, sure. Um, normally it takes some time to do all that hard work, and they said, we're gonna do this in under three weeks. And lo and behold, they did it. So major credit to ECW for reaching out to us and uh, making this come to life. Our mission at Aunt Bertha is to connect all people in need to the programs that serve them with dignity and ease. And we truly believe that these are social determinants of people's well-being, all of us in this room, everyone out there uh, in this country. And so it goes beyond health. It's education, it's corrections, uh, it's community colleges, so many entry points where people uh, are seekers. And we believe that it's important that dignity and ease are a part of the process of getting help. What's the problem? Well, it's really hard to navigate. And so many of you are more familiar uh, with this process than many of us up here. Um, where you know you can try to Google, you can try to call a friend, you can try to ask your social worker, and they might pull out that binder, um, but it's really hard to navigate that system. At Aunt Bertha, we've been working for eight years with more than 20 people, collecting these notebooks, calling community organizations in every single state, working to make it easier to find programs, and to do so knowing the languages they speak, the eligibility rules that they offer, is it free or reduced cost? Do you need to be a veteran with an honorable discharge? What are the requirements to get help at that community organization? Um, we have a team, as I said, of um, more than 20 people doing this work every day, uh, and we have about 60 people uh, in Austin, Texas, um, working with organizations around the country. All this work to collect information about community organizations out there is done by most of these people you see here. Um, they're all huddled in a room about a quarter of this size, um, on the phone all day talking to community organizations to learn about the services um, that they offer. This is really hard work. Our founder, Aaron, um, his mom became disabled uh, when he was young in his 20s, and he went through this process of trying to find resources and programs like many of those uh, in your organizations are doing for the vulnerable population. And he was the very first data entry specialist going through this process. And so what we've decided to do is allow any of the 1.8 million users using Aunt Bertha in this country so far to provide us information and feedback about the programs that they're accessing. We also allow all of the community organizations that we work with to update their information in real time. Because when you're a seeker, you don't want to spend your last $10 getting to a program that's no longer there or isn't open on a Saturday. We also connect over these APIs you've heard about to Google and Bing and Facebook, where that food pantry in the back of a church um, keeps their information current. So we go to where they keep their information. So this is a robust process and strategy that uh, organizations are relying on us uh, to maintain. This has been overwhelming for us as a small uh, little organization. Uh, in the last couple of years, this is the list of organizations that have come to us to connect to the resources that we manage. Almost all of the top uh, national, national payers in this country. Uh, you'll notice a lot of MCOs. You'll notice a lot of networks. Um, you'll notice in that middle group, um, organizations right here in Boston, like Boston Medical Center in their entire network. Um, you'll notice um, uh, Sutter Health across the whole California uh, network, Atrium Health in, in North Carolina. Um, you'll notice it's not just healthcare organizations, national networks like the AARP, like the American Red Cross, they're creating Aunt Bertha sites for their patient populations and member populations as well. And then importantly, community colleges, county governments, corrections organizations. This is leading to a really fascinating trend where networks are being created of community organizations, both in urban and in rural populations, to serve people together. 
Just here in Massachusetts, there's a great example of what's taking place. Brigham and Women's, Boston Medical Center, the Coalition for the Homeless, South Shore Health, um, UMass and Reliant, who are competitors, came together to build their Aunt Bertha platform uh, for their seekers in the community. This is the kind of traction that we're seeing around the country um, that is helping with all those social determinants um, that your members and that your patients um, are looking for support from. It's our job at Aunt Bertha to manage and monitor this network. We're seeing the search activity. We have 1,500 kiosks in New York City in all of the boroughs where folks are searching at 2 a.m. for childcare um, or um, for uh, helping to pay for food or for emergency food. It's our job to know who's searching where and when to make sure you're informed about what resources you need in the community um, to support them. We also fundamentally believe that people want to self-navigate and search on their own and help themselves as well. And by doing so, so much more help can be delivered. And so while it's important that all of us as health centers provide our staff with the ability to provide these social supports, what about when that seeker goes in the community? What about when they're afraid to talk about that domestic violence um, or helping to pay for emergency food or for prescription medication? They can seek on their own through Aunt Bertha as well. And you can put out your own community-facing uh, site and interaction for those seekers to look for resources. So we think the reach going all the way into the community into their own hands is really important to solving the problem of social care. One last puzzle piece is we don't believe that those community organizations that are looking for funding, that are trying to make ends meet, that are serving your patient communities should be paying anything further to get access to tools to respond to your referrals, to schedule an appointment, um, to get a report about who they helped to show their funders, or to interact with you in the case management process. So we build intake management tools for them for free. And as part of our B Corp mission, we provide this entire suite, we do monthly trainings, and we work with all of our community and customer organizations to do workshops so that they understand the value of receiving your referral and helping respond. And ultimately, that data, when in your hand, allows you to look at your diabetes registry and your nutrition referrals and figure out how you're reducing that cost for your system, but how you're also helping that patient population. So we're excited that more than 14,000 community organizations across the US have signed up and are participating in this network. We're seeing that rate grow almost 1,000 a month across the US. So this is new work for us. We're excited about it. We're partnering with lots of organizations to bring this network to life. My last slide here, um, we did a pilot out in Colorado. We trained 50 organizations on how to publish their appointment slots to help people in need. Um, and during the ACA sign up for coverage, we saw more than 14,000 people um, show up to the appointments out of 18,000 referrals made. And we know what they signed up for. Did they get help or not? Why did they decline that help? That's really powerful data, uh, both for the health centers and also uh, for the healthcare organizations in your area to figure out how to serve this population best. So we're really excited to see this network come to life. And more, uh, or in addition, we're very excited that ECW has um, worked with us very collaboratively to bring this into your user experience. So with that, um, if you have questions and would love to learn more, don't be shy. Please find me or reach out. Um, we'd love to share about the work we're doing with health centers and also healthcare organizations around the country. Thank Great. you. Thank you, Jeffrey.